Hello, Carolyn Herforth with thebiztruth.com. Welcome back. Do you ever get that uneasy feeling that your prospect is trying to get away from you? Well, when I started out in sales over 20 years ago, I'm pretty sure that that happened with just about every person I talked to it. Like they just wanted to escape from me. Um, but one story in particular sticks with me and it's about the time I had an appointment with a VP at a bank. And I was about 23 years old, a couple years out of college, and I was selling self-marketing tools to salespeople. You know, anyone who wanted to set themselves apart from the competition and build relationships with their prospects and clients one person at a time. And our primary product was a personalized postcard system. <laughs> it sounds so old school, and it was. But keep in mind, this was before Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and blogging and email and smartphones and digital cameras and Skype and print on demand. So it really was kind of advanced at the time. So I had this appointment with him and someone had given me a tip that I should tell him I just needed 20 minutes and to let, you know, to, to set my watch on the desk to emphasize my commitment to this time limit. And then I started talking and talking and talking and I was telling him about all the wonderful features of this revolutionary system and all the ways they could use it to keep in touch with and thank their customers. And as the minute had started indicating my time was coming to a close, I talked faster and I started sweating and just spitting like I just did now. And when I hit 20 minutes, I panicked because I wasn't done explaining all of the great things I had to tell him. And I will never forget the look on his face when I asked if I could have more time. And it was a look that said, haven't I suffered enough? So what was my glitch? First of all, there are a lot of things I did wrong in that call, but the number one glitch is that I thought my purpose was to present my solution and convince my prospect to buy. Not everybody commits this sales sin, but if my story sounds even remotely familiar to something you might be doing, please join me. When I talk about my surefire fix for turning it around, and when I talk about the art of the ask, it's a free training call. The first live call is on Wednesday, March 7th at one o'clock and it's free. So just go to thebiztruth.com slash free call slash art and you can learn all about it. In the meantime, entrepreneur, I want you to think about how to ditch the glitch.